This video is a quick clip of the five or six jackets, coats for autumn and fall um, that can really get you through the season still while feeling good. My name is Lacey. I have a slight obsession with outerwear. Um, I have way too much of it. So I'm trying to condense my clothing and do a capsule wardrobe. So I thought I'd share with you the five or six um, coats that really you should have for every single year for this autumn fall season. Feel free to subscribe, follow along, give the video a little like and comment if you like what I'm doing and I'll make more content like this. Bo over there seems to not even care, so hopefully you do. <laughs> um, so let's get with it. The first jacket that you should have in your autumn wardrobe is a camel coat. Um, I'm sure you've seen them every single season, but they are, they're a staple, they are a must have. Now, I will say, first off, about 80% of my wardrobe is vintagely sourced, whether that is from vintage consignment stores, thrift stores, or hand-me-downs from family members. And when I say hand-me-downs, I mean like, I've seen them wear it through the decades, and I'm like, I'm gonna have that, it's now mine forever. Um, this was actually my great aunt's <laughs> uh, from Marks and Spencers, but you can go out anywhere and get yourself a good camel coat. They are perfect because you can dress this up or you can dress it down. Um, isn't that right though? Just look at me like, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, the camel coat is perfect for that. Dress it up or dress it down. I pretty much every single morning in the autumn, I will because suddenly the sun is on me, as if it knows I'm gonna go and do something. Um, but yeah, I put my sweatsuit on, put my jacket on, throw a hat on, and I'm done. Next up is your leather jacket. You just need one because they're amazing. Um, this one is a cropped one. This one's super old. I've had it for probably a decade. It's from Diesel. Um, it has got it's a little short, it's a little bit tight on me now, but it's still, it's nice in that pinch if I just wanna throw a leather jacket on and kind of feel good. Um, this one, however, leather jacket, this this was my granddad's. Um, I'm loving the oversized style right now. We're seeing a lot of it in, in streetwear and outerwear. So again, this ticks a lot of boxes, the fact that it is overstyle and the trend has come back around. And it's nice because it's, it's his. And again, I really love the oversizedness of this leather jacket. I don't know if it's because it is my granddad's that I'm sentimental with it. Um, but you could always put the, a, a cropped one on. Um, but there's something really cool about having the oversized layering and then having a nice little fancy boom, boom, boom underneath. Um, it's a very understated, put together, but really cool look. Now, the third jacket I feel like you should have in your wardrobe is a statement jacket. Now, please don't think that I'm saying statement for current season trend. I'm not saying that. Um, if you happen to love like the teddy jackets or you know the, the kind of like quilted stuff, then absolutely fine, as long as you feel like you're gonna wear it in the following year's season. Um, this is purely for the capsule mini kind of collection of stuff. I feel like you should have that statement jacket that makes you feel amazing year after year. Um, these three here are some of my faves and I've had them probably about four or five years. This first one is a vest. <laughs> um, I believe it's a cowhide vest. Um, I'll throw this on, it's very, very boxy. Um, I throw it on with anything really and it instantly makes me feel great this kind of ticks the box of the leather one and it is cropped but i feel like an absolute badass when i'm in it like a fucking rock star um so find yourself a jacket that makes you feel good this one was from uh, goodwill i believe and then this again one of my favorites it's suede and it's chocolate and that is having a moment uh, every season it does have this little thing, but this season in particular, we're in 2021, for if you're watching this later, um, chocolate is melting all over us, um, and I like it. But yeah, this is my granddad's suede jacket, and I love it. Statement jacket, get one, feel good in it. So important. It should make you feel invincible. Your shield, your protection, you're just complete rock star vibe. 
Um, that's why a statement jacket is so important for how you feel about it and not what's currently trending in the seasons. Okay, your little cropped suede, um, or just like little crop jacket. Um, yeah, they're really good to have. I love this particular caramel rust colour for autumn. It reminds me of the autumn leaves. Cliche, I know, but it does. So sometimes I like to give that pop of colour. I am someone who mainly wears black or all neutrals, um, kind of like monotone colour. Sometimes it's nice to have that little pop. Yeah, just throw it on, show the tushy off. Um, and yeah, feel like an autumn leaf as you just run around doing your errands. I wore it to uh, vote, yeah. So yeah, these little kind of cute jackets, especially with the different texture of the suede, they can just really lift an outfit up um, while not kind of being too overbearing or overpowering on your body. But then I have partnered it with um, my boyfriend's jumper, so I like to be covered up right now. <laughs> blazers, okay, I'm not saying that you need to have all three of these, but it is nice to have a blazer. Um, whether you prefer it more form-fitting, that is kind of coming in this season, or whether you prefer it oversized, like I do. Um, if you are a knit or pattern person, then get yourself a wool blazer. If you're someone who prefers to kind of keep it light, then again, get a light neutral colour blazer. Then, my personal favourite one, I live in it all year round actually, um, I just layer it different in autumn, is my oversized tuxedo blazer. Um, I got actually all three of these from Goodwill, so please don't disregard those stores. Um, and yeah, I love wearing this one because it's so easy to instantly elevate any look. The amount of times I've worn it with like my sluggy stuff going out, and I get compliments, people are like, oh, you look so chic, and I'm like, I'm in sweatpants, <laughs> but thank you, it's because of this. Last but not least, a trench. Um, this is actually a very funny colour to me. Um, it's like a grey charcoal kind of thing. Traditionally, they are more of like that beige kind of uh, light sand colour. But I really enjoy this one. I throw it on and it's really nice and lightweight. Um, it is kind of waterproof. And the way it fits is just really beautiful. And I've had a lot of compliments on it. Throw it on, run around, um, lightweight, screw it up and put it in a suitcase if you're traveling. Um, full length is always really nice, but kind of those wet days. Yeah. I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video. Just to recap, the five or six jackets that I'm recommending just for every year um, for the autumn season. Oh, I'm sorry, is this boring you? For the autumn season is your, your camel coat. Get yourself that long wool, nice camel coat. Your leather coat, um, your leather jacket, have that and just feel amazing in it. Your statement jacket, your invincible shield that makes you just feel like an absolute rock star. Your throw on, maybe suede, seasonal colour coat. The blazer, because you cannot go wrong with it. And then just that trench for, you know, for trench days. So yeah, my name is Lacey. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking at doing a few other fashion videos. So if there's anything specifically that you would like to see, please comment. I hope you have enjoyed this. Give me a subscribe, thumbs up, all that good shit. And thanks, have a great autumn.